Hello there folks, this is Mr. Dimis and welcome to my 8th episode of Dishonored. And today we are playing Dishonor 1, Godwin's Bridge. I mean the, the Royal Physician. And I'm welcome, welcoming you all guys back. So, I hope you enjoy your stay. Alright. This wasn't so good beginning, so... Next objective is to deal with these guards below, if there is any. There's one. Yeah. Oh, this guy almost spotted me. But we are gonna deal him quietly. Wind or something. No, it's just me. <laughs> Go to sleep, my friend. I'm gonna put you to here to sleep. So basically, we are playing in the normal difficulty. So this game is. Not so hard, but it also not gonna be too easy for me. Okay, there's one guy. He's staring right at me. Maybe I can blink behind him, man. Oh no, 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 no. This guy. Okay, this I'm right now just wasting my elixirs to try to take down these guards. This is just a waste of good elixir. I mean, this arc pilot is like this kind of weapon that vaporizes its enemies, so if I haven't slowed up the time when I ran down these stairs, this arc pilot would have killed me, so. But now I have to deal with these couple of guards. So far, we are trying to. He's slippery. Check everywhere. Keep your eyes open. Could be bad. Right. They're over there. So I'm trying to do this low case run this time. I don't want to kill all these guys. It's definitely fun, but hey, these guys saw me. This is bad for business. You won't stay hidden for long. This one guy. So basically, we are trying to do this low chaos run, but sometimes I just wish to dispatch this. I just wish sometimes, sometimes to dispatch these guys, like killing them. It's more fun. It also creates better content to my channel, but but this is a route that I had chosen. Sometimes these guys are very stupid. So 
and they won't see. Oh, I'll find you. Run, little rat. Jason, help! He just disappeared. <laughs> like this. I like. I didn't kill you. Any of you. There's probably still. There's one guy. I think that there is a one guy more of in that guard post or something. But I'm not sure. It has been a while since I played this game. Hey, you with the mask and the hand tattoo. Listen, I ain't no criminal. I just collect river cross pearls. They chased me down and I had to hide my catch. You help me? And I'll show you where the pearls are. Split them with you. I don't know about you. Wait, don't be a fool. We can split the pearls. Whatever you want. They'll kill me. They'll dump me in the water. You need the key to get me out. Yeah, yeah, just look around. It's gotta be this I don't know. Should I trust this guy? River crust repercussion. Yeah, this river crust are those things that get the body of water like and they spit this like <coughs> they spit the green stuff it's it's damaging to my Just health follow. so I'll show you the place I don't know no how to explain it so you won't but be I sorry. don't know how to right should I trust this guy no, but Haha. You're going down. Clear the line. Oh, how did we lose him? Firing. Stupid, you just disappeared. Witchcraft. Where are you? Okay, I failed this objective, so. But maybe this was for the best because I think this this target over here this criminal who was in that T cell I'm not sure but this is a little bit probably some sort of spoiling or something but I think he is gonna betray me or something I'm not sure but I, I need to apologize if I spoiled any of the plot of the story or, or in this mission, but yeah. So, right, there's a house. I'm wondering if there's anything useful over there. Like some sort of stash. Oh no. More tugs. Maybe I should just ignore these guys. This guy is probably ignoring me or something. Maybe I should just leave them alone, so... I'm not gonna waste my time with these guys, so... They can stay there. the room sparkling or what is some yeah every time I see like rule like in this table they sound like the, the sound that coming like next to them is like some sort of sparkling like voice what do you think guys ancient music ah 
but this is like the overseer stuff. Obvious overseer's music note. Just post the videos. Just post, just post the video if you want to read those texts. So I'm not gonna read this all to out loud to you guys. So here we are. There is two cars over here. There's one guy. And there's there's like four guys. So. I just love watching them turn and turn. What? I'm gonna Wheels? listen to these guys. Yes. These guys. Round and around, like the cycle of life. Such a wondrous symbol of the progress we've made in industry and invention. Inter industry and invention. So, and remember, guardsmen, yeah. we must make sure they keep turning. It would look very bad on your record. Very bad indeed. Should the factory shut down in your watch? Yes, sir. Something tells me that I should shut this wheel. Like, mm -hmm. oh, this guy's almost saw me. Maybe I should like. Maybe I should like close this wheel or something. It's might be like I don't know what what it I don't know how it, how it's gonna change the game but I'm gonna try to shut this wheel down but first I need to take down this guy I'm gonna listen to his secrets first so sad Maybe arrogant and he's maybe arrogant and corrupt and loyal to the world region, but he's also unconscious. Spiro spiritual remedy, useful as always. Oh. So this is the switch that shuts down the wheel. I hope these guys below to see the difference. But uh, I'm just wondering, what's the point of this wheel? Maybe it's maybe it gives some sort of elect electricity. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna dispatch this. I mean, take him out silently. Using the knife. That gonna put him in the trash can. Oh, nice, more extra co coins and copper wire. This one guy. He almost saw me. Mm -hmm. If I had stayed there longer, he might be saw me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, this guy. Gonna put him down. Put him unconscious. Also, I'm gonna put him in the in the trash can next to this other guy. Now I think there's only one guy over here that I haven't like put unconscious, so I need to sneak behind him, and I hope he okay, he's there. No, 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 no. stupid cat. Gonna blink behind him and I'm gonna. <laughs> Put him also unconscious. Some some people say that this is a right way to play this honor, right? like not like not killing anyone and doing this all chaos, all all this low chaos run. But but I think that most of us kind of agree that killing everyone is more fun. But yeah, I probably already mentioned that in the like first episode that how you play this game depends the ending of this story. So I don't know. Should I like aim towards like 
low chaos ending or high chaos ending. I haven't decided this yet and I have I'm stuck and I, I have also asked about about this conclusion about you subscribers. Should I like do like low chaos run, high high chaos run? Like you decide but but it seems like if I continue doing it like this that that I don't want to kill this god so it's gonna be like no chaos run. These guys like shoot with some sort of acid towards me. Now I'm gonna do my match trick. Like this. So these, these, what I showed at, these are like river crusts, and they shoot this acid sort of stuff. Easy way to deal with these things are like, like I did, slowing up the time and shooting them one at a time. But you can also you use like pistols and you can use also pistols and hand grenades and that stuff. And also there's like this that if you get too close of these river crusts, they they have this hatch that they go inside. So if you're gonna hit them with the sword, it doesn't affect these guys. So, but these guys are already dead. So. There is like, this is like my style of protect to you guys. If you are her, if you are like want to play dishonored yourselves and experience the world of Dunwall, dishonored, yeah. So this is, these are like pro tips for you guys. I know that most of people who play this game have playing like other games Dishonored 2 and some of these modern games but what can you do? Okay. Rotten Tibian Pear, I'm not gonna eat that. And there's also this one thing that if you eat those Rotten Tibian Pearls, I think that I don't know how it affects in Dishonored 1. So that I can get out. Okay, there's rats below. So basically, if you eat those, like, if you eat those, like, rotten pearls and food, they gonna the rats, affect your health. So it's not good. At least in the Dishonored 2, there's like this that if you ate like lots of ro rotten food, it's gonna lower your health. Now I have to deal with these rats, so... I think I'm gonna use this hand grenade. I'm gonna... Okay, I hope these rats gonna follow me. I can show you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stupid rats. Well, and then I'm gonna use the grenade to kill these guys. And now all of them are gone. Very effective. So. Thank you for helping me. No problem, civilian. There were rats. So many rats. Completely infested. I yeah, know I... some folks aren't superstitious, but I swear, the rats showed up after a man came through, waving around an amulet of some kind. It looked like it was made of bone, but he's dead bone now, charm? like the others who were living here. She probably means the bone charm. There's something. There's a bone charm. There's a Turian shoulder.
Alright. There's nothing else useful. Oh, maybe. What's this? Medical herbs. It's always useful to collect some extra money. Maybe you lady want to out go outside of this building though, so I'm gonna Please stop that. Okay. Now you can go out. You're welcome. She didn't even She didn't say any like thank you. Time to continue. Hmm. First, before I'm gonna continue this mission and reach to the circle of house, I'm gonna get these bone charms and runes. This entrance is blocked. I, I can't. Let's see if there's a, like another, another way, like through this roof. I think now I need to blink so, like this. And there is it. Old charm. Now I need to just collect this one. During the next mission, or maybe after I collect these bone charms and runes, I can upgrade more of my powers. Secret stash tip. Uh, this time I'm gonna read this out loud. Higgins, I recently got a tip about a stash hidden at the north end of Goldwyn's Bridge. Another crazy bastard keeping all of his, all his shiny stuff in a secret room. I was told you need to turn the faucet in an old sink three times to open up some kind of secret, secret door. No information on the value of what's in the room. I only heard about secret speaker hanging over the road just outside the door. Sorry about that, mate. Don't forget my share if you find it. So, if I want to s find this secret stash, I need to turn faucet three times, and it, like it opens some sort of secret door. Uh, it, it doesn't say what's in the room, but there's like street speaker hanging over the road. I'm just wondering if these things are those speakers. I remember when I first time played these games, there all around this city, the cities there's like this audio broadcast and stuff, so these are like the things that put this that voice. And there's like if there's guards standing below this thing. So you can basically like Oh no I forgot about those cards I'm gonna find you whoever you are and then I'll demonstrate your failing Forgot about these guys. Check under everything. I gotta get back right now. I'll get to the bottom of this. Help! Bastard! I don't know how to deal with this guy. I should just blink behind him so he cannot see me. I'll push. And then I'm gonna put him on boxes as well. I'm gonna put 
have a player. So basically we are in the last part we I told you about this thing. That trap over here, if there was guards standing below it, the guard definitely would die. So this uh, about the letter that I read that about the secret stairs told me that there's a door with it with this uh, audio broadcasting so I think this is definitely like the place. Maybe it's upstairs. No? Okay, I cannot go upstairs. I wonder what this door says. What inside this door is? It is a rotten TV barrel. But coins are always useful. Doesn't like Do you anything useful. Okay, I have like how many rooms? Uh, uh, five rooms. Okay, what I can get with this? So I can like. Use this. Maybe this is useful. Oh, possession. Yeah, I can possess animals, humans. Yeah. It might be useful in the later gameplays. Shadow kill. Un unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die. Okay. It not, it's not necessary this time. Jump height is increased. Okay, this is level 2. Over, overall movement speed is increased. Okay, bloodthirsty. Put up adrenaline, then trigger brutal melee fatalities. Okay. Okay, this is like health boost, this vitality. Okay. Heat Blast, Devouring Swarm, alright. Okay, I, I've created this Dark Vision. Alright, now I can like see behind the walls, so I think this is like the secret stash. So there's definitely like a coins and elixir, and I have no clue how to get there. So basically, the the message, message told me that you have to use the faucet like three times. So one, two, three. Let's see what happens. And of course, there's rats. This is basically the secret room that the uh, stash tip told about. So, the Piero Spiritual Remedy int, Inch Mode Urn. So there is like ashes of the de dead people. Alright. So, I'm gonna. Okay. This one guy. This I'm gonna teleport over here. And then all these rats crawling all over it. There's two, two survivors inside that cage. Okay. 
I need to definitely to practice my parkour skills on the one well, guy. Come on. Teleport over here. So if this guy goes like over here, I'm gonna put him uh, down like silently. Okay, this guy already spot was spotted me. out if there's like more guards yeah, I, I can't go past this so there's th this electric thing so I need to go around it there's no more guards over here Nearby, there's a partially collapsed building. Up on what used to be the third floor, you'll see a painting. Okay. I used to work there. Behind the painting, there's a safe, and the code is 294. Thank you for the tip, woman. So this is like... Th this, is w this is why sh you should do this, like, side objectives, so you can, like... There's a hidden safe. So basically, when I saved that woman and man, so it gave gave me the clue that there's a hidden safe. And I, I put this guard over there. So basically, I revived this th thing. And so basically, if he wakes up right now and decides to attack me, he he's gonna turn to ash. So woman told me the save was like two nine four. Right? So that's the basically the <coughs> excuse me. This is the reason why you, sh why you guys should do these side, mission side missions. I know that they can be like waste of time, but you never know what useful stuff you might find. Oh, there's another safe. And there's a poor, poor fella that cr crashed by the safe. Inside the Sokolov's house, so all right. There's uh, Sokolov's house. Uh, by the way, at the moment, right now, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna go like little break. So. After this break, I'm gonna continue this video and goodbye. Why do I do with the